walking out of the Bombay High Court. Salman Khan, a free man, acquitted of all the charges after 13 long years. Curtsy, the shoddy investigation by the Mumbai police. Loophole 1, the drunk driving mess up. Quashing the charge of driving under the influence of alcohol after no witness was able to prove before the court that actor Salman Khan had actually consumed alcohol on the night of 27th of September 2002. The court also questioning as to why the appellant accused drunkenness was brought before the court by injured witness, prosecution witness number three, Manu Khan, 12 years later. And the only crucial link that could prove whether Salman was inebriated or not was the bar that he was at. But lack of evidence from the rain bar was loophole number two. Rain's bar was the place where Salman was first seen before the accident. But Mumbai police case became weakened when the restaurant submitted questionable bill with four different table numbers. Even the time of Salman reaching the restaurant and the accident also raises eyebrow. The judge asked me several times, did he consume alcohol, did he consume alcohol? I like I told, table drinks were served on the table. Uh, order was given by Suvel Khan uh, and Suvel Khan group was, uh, and he was sitting and standing uh, near my bar counter. Then afterwards, the table gets empty, we shifted. So that's what the thing happened. Loophole 3, the blood sample goof up. The Bombay High Court observed that the process of collection of blood sample was done in a casual manner with no thumb impression taken of the accused. The court also observed that while the doctor took 6 ml of blood sample but only 4 ml was received by the chemical analyzer. And then there was the mystery of the labels on the blood vials. Inability to prove the tire burst theory was Mumbai police's lapse number 4. On one occasion, Mumbai police said that there was no major damage to the car, only to later say that the left tyre had burst and it had to be towed away as it was in no position to be driven. An incompetent examiner just added to the prosecution's woes. Conflicting statements by the vehicle examiner further weakened the case. The cops not only failed to secure the fingerprints on the steering wheel, even the constable who examined the car was not of a competent authority and therefore the court saw no reason as to why also the examined vehicle was not sent to the lab. And the sixth setback for the prosecution was the dismissal of star witness Ravindra Patil's testimony. Ravindra Patil, Salman Khan's police bodyguard, who was a direct witness in the case, was the prosecution's only hope. But his flip-flop in his statement over the last decade made his testimony partially reliable and the court to say that his testimony was inadmissible. More than a decade later, prosecution's case torn apart and failure to provide anything more than just circumstantial evidence ensured Salman was off the hook.